I'm Ryan Wolf. And I'm Marcy Martinez. Thanks for joining Action 4 News. Only on 4 in light of the September 11th attacks, we're honoring Valley military personnel who died in the war that followed. Tonight, a Wessico family speaks about their Army specialist son killed in Iraq back in 2004. Action Force Rafael Carranza reports. Marcy, Ryan, September 11th is hard enough for any family that lost their loved ones overseas during the past 10 years, but it's especially difficult for the Garces family. Their son was killed seven years ago this same week. It's a pain Sonia and Rafael Garces deal with each day, and it intensifies on the anniversary of their son's death. Tomas, just 19 years old at that time, was killed on September 6th of 2004 while serving overseas in Iraq. His mother remembers him always smiling and full of life. Following the 9-11 attacks, she says Tomas wanted to give back by serving his country, so he joined the Texas Army National Guard. But his young life was cut short almost two years after enlisting. It's been exactly seven years since several men walked up these same steps to notify the family of specialist Tomas Garces about his death. Since then, you'll find a flagpole in front of his home, which at this time of the year will always have a flag flying at half-mast. His father remembers the day clearly he had the difficult job of telling his wife. <laughs> Despite not being here, Tomás's memories live on. His pictures, awards, and medals hang inside his parents' home. They allowed our cameras inside his room. His graduation cap and gown still hangs on the wall, as does the bass guitar he played at church. To deal with the pain, Rafael taught himself to make reefs and floral arrangements for Tomás. Several of them sit atop Tomás's bed but will one day adorn his final resting place. Specialist Tomás Garcés was the first member of the Texas National Guard to be killed in the combat since World War II. The, ar the armory in Westlaco now bears his name. In the studio tonight, Rafael Carranza, Action 4 News. Rafael, thank you for that.